Well, on one of last week's episodes, we talked about cleaning the interior on a Honda Accord, and that was really bad. And we went over the steam clean method, we went over the PC method, and of course the, the always trusty, um, the quick and easy with the brush method. Now this one here, I'm working on a Porsche Cayenne, it's not that dirty. The seat just has what I call average or common dirt that you get every month or two, and it's just from going in and out of the seat with uh, with your pants or your jeans. Um, so this is what we're dealing with today. But a lot of you have asked me, what do you do when the seat has perforation or little holes in it? Now, this, of course, being a Porsche, has heated seats and ventilated or air-conditioned seats. So they, they have these holes to kind of let the uh, HVAC kind of come through um, in, into, your, into your back and into your butt. So how do you clean it? Well, you do the same thing. Since it's not that dirty, you put a little, uh, you know, I'm using, of course, my products, ammo lather in there. I sprayed a little bit into the tip of the brush. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna use little circles just like this. And as you can see, there's a bunch of suds coming up, just like there would be on uh, on normal leather, like the leather around the edges here that are, that's not perforated. So you're going to do this. Now, if you had a, a steam machine, that would not be a bad choice either, because the steam puts down very little water, which is what um, you know the goal here is to avoid. So I've basically agitated everything, and with the little brush, you can actually get inside those holes uh, just slightly. And then what you're going to do. You know, take your microfiber towel, just lightly clean it up. And it's really going to show a difference. It comes out there. Now the big trick here is you say, all right, well, it seems like uh, what happens if the cleaner went into the holes? First of all, you're not going to use a whole lot of cleaner because it doesn't need a whole lot of cleaner. Um, and the second thing is, if you feel as if you've put uh, too much in there, this is the next trick. Just get a vacuum. Turn your vacuum on. This is a Festool vacuum. And you lightly, very lightly, not to scratch the leather, if there was any extra moisture, this is gonna suck it right out and you'll be clean, good to go. But the next thing is, if there's perforation, most of the time, not all of the time, there's gonna be some sort of heat um, that comes out of here, a heated seat, or in even rarer uh, cases, there's gonna be air conditioning. So if I felt like I put too much, which I didn't, I would just turn the seats on and have lots of heat and or air come through and dry it all out. So not that, uh, not that big of a deal, but it was a great question. Hopefully I answered, um, I forget who emailed me, but uh, it was a, a really good question that I wanted to discuss. So hopefully that helps. You can use all the techniques including the steamer, you can use the PC, um, but in this case, because it's not that dirty, I'm just gonna go with the, the quick and easy method of using the interior brush with the, uh, the lather interior cleanser. Clean it up and you're good to go. If you're worried about it, you're sleeping in, use the vacuum or turn the heated seat on and uh, it'll be great. Thanks for your, uh, your questions. Any, quest any more questions, shoot me an email at larry at ammonyc.com and uh, more videos to come. Thanks for watching.